Welcome to the rocks of New Hampshire's White Mountains. The year is 1935. The climber is Henry Childs, AMC Narragansett chapter member and longtime rock climbing leader. Childs began climbing in his 30s, drawn in by the fun seeking group of adventurers, teaching and learning together on local rocks and cliffs. In the 1930s, the rock climbing community was distinguished by a sense of curiosity, camaraderie, and pursuit of technical mastery, along with an added emphasis on safety. As noted mountaineer Robert Underhill pointed out in Appalachia, the club's journal, the whole spirit of rock technique and its foremost rule is that there should be no taking of chances. Sound judgment was taught alongside an ethic of deliberateness and precision. stop, backtrack, and evaluate their every move before committing to a rock grip. Using the simplest of equipment, climbers ascended with rope and thick-soled boot, without the comfort of harness or the protection of a helmet. decades signaled a turning point in climbing. All of the big cliffs in the region had been scaled. Routes were well established. Climbers turned to having fun rather than making first ascents. Recreation was the priority rather than exploration. On this particular trip, climbers visited High Mountain, King Ravine, and Huntington Ravine. trial and error, they learned not only to climb rock, but to do so with smoothness, balance, careful forethought, and confidence, all within the congenial atmosphere of like-minded thrill-seekers. Mm -hmm.